This love is like the ocean That's crashing over me It's like falling rain on the driest plains As far as eyes can see Dan, you are my absolute favorite person in this world. You are my best friend, my confidant, and my singing partner. You are kind, considerate, and slow to anger. You think before you speak, and you always find the humor in any situation, even if it's making fun of yourself. You keep me stable and standing when I feel like the ground is giving out under me. I can't thank you enough for not giving up on us, even when I was giving you concrete signals that this definitely was not happening. <laughs> I'm sorry I never let you buy me a drink that first night we hung out, insisting that I wasn't thirsty and only to buy myself my own drink 15 minutes later. From now on, I promise you can buy all my drinks for me. <laughs> I promise to stop setting my alarm in increments of five minutes. I promise to give you grace in each day, even when you decide that the best way to transport a 15-pound pizza stone to South Carolina is in your checked luggage. I've I vow to try new things with you, even if those new things are very scary. I vow to never stop hating the Red Sox, but I promise to bring it up significantly less than I do now. I promise to say yes to walks, hikes, adventures, and camping trips. I promise to take advantage of the life and love we have been lucky enough to find. Thank you for constantly and consistently putting me first. For changing Barbara Streisand's song lyrics to add my name and Dexter's to them. For always ridding the apartment of bugs, saving the ones you can, and killing ones that I deem way too scary to live. Thank you for knowing the values of days spent by the lake. I will never know what I did to deserve you, but just know that you have been the biggest blessing in my life. I promise to grow with you, learn with you, and respect you as we change throughout the seasons of our life. Tor, as you know, I am someone who always held his friends in high regard. And while I have some of the best friends anyone can ask for standing behind me, I can unequivocally say that my best friend is standing in front of me today. While I have always relied on my loved ones for the confidence before I leave, it's nothing compared to how I felt these years with you at my side. I can only think of our decision to move to South Carolina together. We joked about what a risk it would be for most couples to be moving in with someone at the same time that you were moving completely across the country together. But I didn't doubt for a moment that we would not only make it work, but we would excel and develop, helping each other to get closer to our best selves, whatever that may look like. While it was a short time, the bond that we developed during that time was unlike anything I'd ever experienced before, or expected to the point. To the point that I wept uncontrollably when faced with moving back up to CT a month before you in preparation. When I look back on these moments in our relationship, it should have been obvious that we would end up right here in front of our, an audience of our closest friends and families with a mountain in the background like you mentioned on, I think, our second date. It's always something that I've admired about you. Your ability to know what you've wanted long before the question has even come up. And now, thanks to you, I know what I want from my life. I want to spend my life with you. I want to share in all of the laughter and all of the uncontrollable weeping that life has in store for us. I want to take risks knowing that you will always be there to catch me and always be prepared to catch you in return. I want to build our dream house together and find the yard that Dexter deserves. I want to make a life with you. So thank you, Tor. Thank you for all the laughter. Thank you for the support through the highs and the lows. And thank you for sticking with me through all the knives that I have ever forgotten to wipe the peanut butter off of. Thank you for choosing to spend your life with me. Thank you for being my best friend. It's all that I've ever wanted. I love you.
almost wanted to go on forever and ever about how this young child always promised her father she would never leave. I'd like to go on forever and ever about the feelings I have, but this is not the time for that stuff. This is Tori and Danny's day. For a long, healthy, and loving life, here, I here. wish it for you and love you both. When I think of Tori, a lot of traits come rushing to mind. She is undeniably hilarious. Her humor is sharp, witty, and biting, and the girl can deadpan like no other. At the age of about 10 years old, I can distinctly recall Tori walking through the kitchen holding a power drill. My mom looked over and asked where she was going with that giant tool. She stared, looked at my mom, revved the drill once, and simply said, Dad needs to be punished. I also think of Tori's selflessness, of her generous spirit. I think of the way she never hesitates. I think of her quiet intellect, an intelligence that, unlike the rest of her siblings, she doesn't try to weaponize and throw in your face. I think of her humility. I'm guessing many of you here might not be aware that she's currently getting her master's degree. I think of Tori's boundless compassion, her unique ability to imagine lives she's never lived and circumstances she's never grappled with, with curiosity, with care, and with compassion. When I think about Tori, I see her nurturing spirit. Tori has the most natural ability to connect with little kids. She meets it with love and connection and endless patience. When I had to be hospitalized at the end of my pregnancy with Miles' baby sister, Margo, Auntie Tori dropped all of her responsibilities in Connecticut without thought and came down to stay with Miles while I was in the hospital. She, of course, had her hands full merely taking care of him and our two beautiful, fairly needy cats. That's the kind of person that Tori is. She willingly does the more difficult thing in order to make a difference for somebody else. A few years later, when little baby Tori shared with us the news that Danny had asked her to marry him, None of us second best. Danny has been able to put up with all of the Monero nonsense in his laid back, cheerful way without even getting the least bit ruffled. He is the perfect partner for our sister, and we are so happy that you two have found each other. We wish you all our love for a truly awesome life together. Danny and I have been best friends long time. One thing I've noticed about Danny over the years is that when he gets into something, he really devotes himself to it. There is nobody more perfect for my guy Danny than Tori. He is stubborn, he is unruly, but she is just as dry and sarcastic as he is. That they're going to be excellent together. So when I met Tori about seven years ago, you know how witty she was, you just knew she was another Madison girl. It was something that always stood out to me, and you know, just how we were raised, and just who my brother ended up going into. Uh, he was somebody that would just always grab the rope, he'll always be there. You know, even if it does require a little bit of work, and he'll always end up doing it because he knows it's the right thing to do. I love you very much, and thank you very much to everybody being here, and welcome to the family tour. Oh, 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 oh.